Normally, for a beginner method, you would start by solving the white cross and then solve one layer at a time, layer by layer. But if you do what's called F2L, you can solve the first two layers simultaneously. So that involves solving this corner and this edge, which is a corner edge pair, and then this corner edge pair, this corner edge pair for a total of four corner edge pairs. So the first thing you need to know is a couple of extremely simple algorithms. So to insert this corner edge pair into here, what you can do is R U prime R prime. But instead of remembering the moves, you can just remember what to do with your fingers. Now, similarly to insert this corner edge pair into here, you can just do the same thing on the left side, which is L prime U L. Now, if you have the corner over here and the edge back here, and the top colors do not match, then what you can do is R U R prime. And then lastly, we just have the same thing on the left side. So in this case, the corner here, edge back here, the top colors do not match, and you can insert with L prime, U prime, L. So let's start by looking at the orange and green pair. So here is the corner piece, here is the edge piece, and together they will go into this slot between the orange and green centers. So the first step is to make sure that both of these pieces are in the top layer. Now we have the edge here in the top layer, but the corner is not. So anytime one of them is not in the top layer, what you can do is just move it into the top layer, and then uh, we wanna move this cross piece back, so move this away and get the cross piece back. And now you can run into one of two cases. Either the corner piece white sticker faces the top, or it does not. In this case, it does not. And if it does not, then what you want to do is put it on top of the slot it needs to go into. Next, facing the slot, turn the top once so that the white sticker can still be seen. So that would be over here. If you put it over here, then you would not be able to see the white sticker anymore. Next, check if the top colors are the same. So the corner piece and the edge piece both have orange on the top, so they do match. And just keep that in mind for now. Now the edge piece can either go here or here. That's where you want it to be, not in one of these two spots. Now if it helps to remember, you can place your index finger on the top parallel to the white sticker, and the two edge pieces that you touch are where this edge could go. Now since the top colors match, you want them to go together. So you want these two pieces to be together like this. If the top colors did not match, you would want them to be apart like this. So now knowing that we want the edge over here, we could move it over there in one move like this, but that would move the corner out of the way. So instead, what we're going to do is, since the corner is in the green face, we can turn the green face away, then move it over, then bring the green face back. Now what you'll notice is they are paired together. So once they are paired together, you can insert using one of the algorithms that I taught in the beginning, L prime U L. All right, so this time we have this edge piece here and this corner piece here, again, both green and orange, so they need to go into here. Since the white sticker does not face the top, we have the same case, and we can move the white sticker to be on top of the slot it needs to go into, then turn the top layer once so that we can still see the white sticker. So that would be this way. Now take a look at the top colors just like before, and this time they do not match. So follow the same rule to see where we want this edge to go. And the rule is to look at the white sticker, place your finger parallel to that white sticker, and the two edges that you touch are where this edge could go. Now if they went over here, these would be together, but that's not what we want this time. Since they don't match, we want them to be separate like this. So we could move the edge over here in one move, but that would move the corner out of the way. Instead, since the corner is in the orange side, we can move the orange side like this away, move the edge over here, then go back. Now these two pieces don't look like they're paired up, but if you remember from before one of the easy algorithms you can do, this happens to be L prime U prime L, and that inserts them. All right, so now we're going to look at the orange and blue F2L pair. So we want to insert them into here, and we have the orange and blue edge over here and the orange and blue corner over here. So this time the white sticker faces upwards, so we have to do something different. This case is a lot easier, and all you have to do is get the edge to match a center, face the slot and turn that center away so that the edge piece goes to the back, move the corner on top of the edge, and then come back. All right, now we have them paired together, and then you can just insert like this, R, U prime, R prime. So that's actually all of the concepts that you need to know in order to do F2L. However, there are special cases that will not fall into those categories, so I will show you how to deal with those special cases. So here, let's take a look at the red and blue pair. They need to go into here. So if we follow our normal rules, the white sticker faces up, so we wanna match this to the center, the edge piece, turn it away, 
and this time the corner ended up in the bottom layer, but we need to put the corner on top of the edge if we follow the normal rules, so that would be impossible. So that's how you know that you have a special case, when they're attached in a way so that you cannot do what you would normally do. So one option you have for solving special cases is to find an algorithm for each of them and just memorize it. So if you really want to do that, I will have a link in the description for how to find all those algorithms. But you don't have to learn an algorithm, I will show you how to deal with special cases here, and there's only one thing you really have to do. Find a move that can split up these pieces. So you want to get the corner into the bottom layer, so like this. And then you just have to move the edge piece away and then move the corner back up. Now you have a normal case that you can deal with with regular rules. One thing that's important for dealing with special cases is that you don't break up another slot you've already solved. So let's take a look at what would happen here. We have a solved slot back here. And what we're going to do is split them up like this. Move the corner down here, move the edge away, and move the corner back up. Now you'll notice that we broke this slot. So coming back to here when the slot was still solved, you'll notice that when we move the corner down, this slot came up to the top. So when the slot comes up to the top, you wanna to make sure it's an unsolved slot, such as this one or this one. So if we put this one at the back, then now we can do it just fine. All right, here is an example for two layers. So the cross is already done, and I will try to solve the red and green pair first. So here's the corner and here's the edge. So the edge is not in the top layer, so I wanna move it into the top, which I can do like this, move it up, move it away, then bring the this cross piece back down. Now, since this white sticker is not facing the top, then I wanna put it on top of the slot, move it so I can still see the white sticker, and then see that these two colors on the top match. So I want the edge piece to be over here. Move this away, move the edge piece over and move it back. Now I can insert this with R U prime R prime. All right, now we have this pair, which happens to already be paired up, and we can insert this with R U prime R prime. Now we have this corner and this edge over here. Move it up, move it out, and move this edge piece back. Now these two, since the white sticker is facing up, we can match red with red here, turn the red face away, put the white sticker on top of the edge, and then come back. Now we can insert this with R, U prime, R prime. And lastly, we have this one and this one. So since, again, the edge is not in the top layer, we can move it out like this. And then the white sticker is not facing the top, so we can put it on top of the slot, move it in a way so we can still see the white sticker. Now these two do not match, so we want the edge piece over here, so they're a split up pair. Now take the white sticker in the blue face, move it away by turning the blue face move the edge over here where we want it to be, and move the blue face back. Now, this case, we can insert with L prime, U prime, L. Thanks for watching, and if you have a question, of course you can leave it in the comments, and I will be happy to answer you. See you all in my next videos.